What is up, guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. I'm John the Potter. So good to have you in the studio today. Check out that sweet mug. One of my faves from a recent kiln. So this video, we're talking about cones. So what the heck are cones? So cones is how you measure temperature in ceramics and pottery. So the temperature inside of your kiln is measured from cone O18 up to cone 10, 11, 12. So it's just a different range of temperatures besides like Fahrenheit or Celsius that you measure ceramics in. So that's what we're talking about today. It's freezing in Minnesota right now. It's October 11th and it was snowing today. So if anyone has any room in Florida and you live there, I'd like to come live with you. Okay, I have some cones. Story time. I was on Instagram the other day, scrolling through, and someone mentioned at John Schmidt Pottery, and they had this picture of a kiln, and it was clearly a bisque kiln, because everything in there was greenware. So it was getting bisque. And she commented like, or her caption on her photo was, you know, thanks so much to John Schmidt Pottery, like I'm doing my first ever bisque kiln. I have it set to cone six and slow and whatever. And I look at it and I'm like, I hope that they mean cone 06 and not cone six or else that's gonna be a problem. So I commented on it and I was like, hey, I hope you mean cone 06 cause otherwise you're gonna have some problem. And so I thought, okay, I don't have any like basic cone video or, ba or really any like pottery basics. So I wanna do a whole series of pottery basics. So this one is about cones. First off, if all you need to know is what temperature each cone is, then just turn this video off and go Google cone chart. Because if you just Google cone chart, then you'll find what the cones actually are. So this is a cone. So if you set this into a kiln and fire it, this is, at, this is a cone seven cone. As it fires, it starts to bend and so each cone is set to melt at a different temperature. And so a lot of old kilns, like the old kiln that I had, you fire using these little mini cones. And so it's the kiln sitter sits there and then as this melts, then it kind of bends and then it shuts the kiln off when it reaches this temperature. Like this is a cone, this is a cone six cone. Let's talk about how we actually talk about cones. Let's talk about how we talk about cones. Let's discuss the coneage. I had, a, I had a nice big Sharpie pen. Where did it go? There it is. Probably the biggest confusion for a beginner that like basically when you put an O in the front of the cone, that means it's negative. So like cone zero. And so basically I'm just gonna tell you the things that you need to know. So cone 06 is, da is down there. And then cone six, and so cone six is like 22, 32, I think. Hang on one second. So cone 06, 1828. And this is all in Fahrenheit. So if it has a zero in front of it, that means it's like negative. So it's less than going up to here. So then in between here, you have cone 05, cone 04, all the way up to cone one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you have seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way, blah, 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 right? Like this. Cone 06, 05, 04, that's like your bisque range. So that's basically getting it up to where it's, I wasn't really ready, I wasn't really prepared for this video. So this is a mug that I made uh, like two days ago. It's not quite dry yet, so it hasn't been fired at all. Then. It comes out like this, and this pot has been fired, these pots have been fired up to cone 04, like 1945 degrees Fahrenheit. Right, there you go. So I'm just giving you the basic, like this is what you really need to know. For eight years, I bisque fired everything to cone 06, right? And then I had a few little pinhole issues, and one of the ways you fix pinhole issues is to fire to cone a little hotter. So now I go to cone 04, and that's really fixed all my pinhole issues. So that's the bisque firing, right? Bisque. So then, once you get into, this cone six is a very common glaze firing temperature, because it makes a lot of sense for electric kilns to go up to cone six. So that's why you see a lot of firings going to cone six. I basically do everything to cone six, right? 2232, right here. The other common temperatures for 
glazing high fire would be up to cone 10, but you don't often see that in electric kilns uh, because it's hard on the kilns and you really need to do it in either gas fire, wood fire. Um, it's difficult to do. People do can do it in electric, but it's not very common. Is that everything? Bisque to cone 06 to 0504. That range is the bisque firing. Uh, then you go up to cone six would be a common, very common electric firing for glaze. Uh, some people can go to cone seven, cone eight, cone nine. You can do those like Joel Cherico from Cherico Potter. He, I, don't, I know he does cone eight. And then cone 10 is common too, like Hammerly Ceramics goes up to cone 10 in his gas fired kilns, uh, as well as many other people do as well. So I think that is it for the cones. Let me know, comment below, did I miss anything? A. B, comment below, do you have any other questions about the cones? So this was to cone six. I had some dark iron clay that I fired to cone five, because it's not quite, it can't quite go up to cone six. I think that's it for this video. Comment below, what other basic videos do you guys wanna see? Because I wanna do pottery basics. I should do one about clay, I should do one about, you know, but this is cones. Cones explained. Thank you guys for so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, hit subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends, comment below. Tell me what videos you guys wanna see in the future, as well as any other comments. I love seeing the comments. All right, see you guys in the next video. I can't believe it's snowing in Minnesota already. It's awful. I think there's enough room in this to do a cartwheel. I wonder if I can do a cartwheel. Can you see me? Whoa, how was that? That was probably better. I wish I could just do a standing backflip. That'd be cool. I'd be scared that I hit my head. Peace.